Hello students, today we will learn some more interesting applications of Sprite. In the previous chapter, you have learned how to open Scratch and make simple projects in it using the motion and pen blocks. In this chapter, you will learn about changing the appearance of Sprite, its color and size, repeating actions, making it say something and adding sound effects to a project. Let us quickly learn about creating a new project. To create a project, follow these steps. Open Scratch window. Click on the file menu. Choose the new option. A new project opens up with a default cat sprite on the stage. Let us quickly learn how to change the appearance of sprite. When you start a new Scratch project, it begins with a cat sprite. You can edit the looks of the sprite by changing its costume. The looks block control the looks of the sprite. To change the sprite look, follow the given steps. Click on the Costumes tab to see and edit the sprite costume. The new costume options are displayed as shown in figure. These options are choose a costume paint, camera and so on. Let us learn the method to choose a costume from the library. Click on the choose a costume button. The number of choices will appear in the costume library. Select the animals option from the category section. Select Butterfly 2-A Sprite and click on OK. Observe that the new costume will be added under the costumes list as well as displayed on the stage. Select the Code tab and click on the Motion category. Drag the block and drop it to the Scripts area. Click inside the number box and change the steps value from 10 to 20. Now select the Looks category, Color Code Purple. Drag the block on the Scripts area. Place it below the Move 20 Steps block. Students note that the block changes the color and other graphical effects applied to the sprite by a specified number. Now pick the next costume block and snap it below the change color effect by 25 block in the script. Click on any of the blocks to run the block stack. Observe the sprite changing its costume and color. Let's quickly learn how to make a sprite say something. You can also make the sprite say a word or sentence in a scratch project. The block allows the sprite to say something in a speech bubble. Let us look at the example given below. Click on the looks category. Drag the block and drop it on the scripts area. Now click on the control category, color code orange. Drag the block to the scripts area. Snap it with the previous one. This block makes the sprite wait for the specified number of seconds before moving to the next block of the script. Again select the looks block category and place the say hello for 2 seconds block beneath the wait 1 seconds block. This block allows the sprite to say something for the specified number of seconds. Type in the message, how are you, inside the text space of the block. Drag the block again and drop it at the end of the script. Change the text of the block to, I am good. Click on any of the blocks to run the script. Let us make a scratch project using blocks that have been explained to you. Place the blocks one by one as shown in figure.
Now click on the script and observe the sprite change its color and size. Change size by 10. This block is used to change the size of the sprite by a specified amount. All right, students, let us understand how to repeat actions. You can repeat the actions of the sprite as many times as needed. You will get various blocks to control the actions in the control category. Blocks held inside the block are repeated for a specified number of times mentioned in the block. Let us learn to use the repeat block. Pick the block and place it on the scripts area. Change the value from 10 to 15. Drag the block and block from the motion blocks palette and drop them on the script area. Change the value in both the blocks to 30. Now place them inside the block as shown in figure. Select the pen block menu. Drag out the stamp block and drop it below the Move 30 Steps block. Click on any block to run a stack and observe the repeated actions. Students, let's know more. Stop button. The stop button is placed on the top left corner of the stage. It is red in color and used to stop the project at any time during the execution. Apart from the repeat block, you can use the following blocks to control the actions of the sprite. Forever. Blocks held inside this block will be in a loop that never ends unless the stop button is clicked. When clicked. The block is available in the events category. It is the most used block in Scratch. The scripts that begin with this block will run once the green flag has been clicked. Students know that to move a block of commands anywhere in the scripts area, click on the top block of the script and drag the stack to the place where you want to place it. Alright students, let's learn about adding sound. There are many ways to add sound to your scratch project. Here you will learn the blocks present in the sound blocks palette that are used to add sound. Make the script by adding the blocks as shown in figure and stack them on top of each other. Click on the script to play the project. You will hear the sound of a cat, that is meow. Let us understand the use of blocks that you have used in above project. Play sound meow until done. This block will play a specified sound. The script will pause until the sound has finished playing. Play drum. This block is part of the music category that you can add from the extension. It plays a drum sound for a specified number of beats. You can change the drum type by clicking on the drop down arrow next to the number and the number of beats by changing the value in the box. Students know the fact. Green flag. This button is placed just before the stop button. It is clicked to execute or run the script. Ok students, let us take a recap of this lesson. To change the sprite's looks, you can use the costumes. The block allows the sprite to say something in a speech bubble. 
The block is available in the events category. It is designed to start a script. The sound blocks palette is used to place sound in the scratch project. The blocks of the control category are used to control the actions of the sprite.